What is up, MFers? It is a beautiful, wonderful time of the year because I have the boat hooked up to my truck and I actually don't have to travel six hours to find some open water. Yes, that's right. It is open water season in Nebraska now. That's a great thing. But the bad thing is it's 25 degrees a day. The water temperatures are probably gonna be mid upper 30s. So it's gonna be a tough, tough, slow grind. But I'm going out to a lake that it has a ton of potential. It's clean in the spring. It's, it's really clear water first thing when that ice comes off, which is always what I'm looking for whenever I go fish for those fish. You don't wanna fish that cold, muddy water. So that's where we're going. I'm going to meet up with my buddy Josh. First time I've ever fished with him. Super, super jacked to get out on the water. But enough of me talking, let's get to the lake. Let's go. Holy balls, what a long adventure that was. You didn't see any of it, but uh, Josh got to the ramp at the lake about an hour north of the house, and turns out it had ice on the boat ramp, so I will not be filming anything apparently there. So we decided to make a... Josh is here, that's Josh. So we decided to make a little move to another lake and that one had ice on it. So now we're at this little lake, which isn't that bad of a deal really because it's got giant bass and it's where I caught my giant muskie and I was just ice fishing like two weeks ago. But we're gonna try this one for a little bit. If it doesn't work, we're gonna go somewhere else. It's gonna be a little lake hopping day. I don't know, it'd be an interesting adventure. All right guys, we finally, finally made it to a lake that does not have ice on it. Josh, oh, backlash, beauty. Yeah, Josh is throwing a jerk bait. I'm throwing a jerk bait. Water's probably insanely cold. High 30s or something. There's ice over there on half the lake, but there's not ice on most of the lake. So it's really all we can ask for today. I'm gonna pick out this backlash for an hour now. That's pretty good. Got the shad wrap going. Caught a lot of big fish on this bait in cold water. Just like that. No way. Uh, I think I got a trout. No way. First cast. First cast. A trout. <laughs> there it is. There it is, folks. Oh, man, that's impressive. Just like I was telling Josh, this only catches big bass, nothing else. I should probably keep him, but I'm not going to. Unless you want to keep him. By trout on the old shad wrap. What do you know? Is it a trout? Finally got one. It is a trout. It is a oh man. Lucky us. We're catching trout. Yeah, that's a giant. That's about a six pounder. Look at that. It's an Arctic char. <laughs> it might as well. God. Damn. Oh. <laughs> about took the rod out of my hand. Okay. And I lost him. God. Uh, that old dude could not trout day. Wrong. Well, so far we've caught uh, we've caught three trout and zero bass. So we're we're regrouping. Josh is having a sandwich. Zero. I think I'm gonna stop and get some something to eat maybe. Uh, but it's it's super cold. It's crazy cold. It's sunny out though, so it's feeling a little better. And we're thinking maybe it's an afternoon bite. So we're gonna go to a place uh, a different place. I'm not gonna tell you it's better than here because this lake's got good fish. But hopefully they're willing to go there. I know Gummy Worm Boy says he's caught some fish at this lake we're going to recently. So hopefully. We can make it happen there. Okay, we're here. We're, we're at lake number like four. This is the second one we're going to fish, but we're at lake number four. It's open, which is the main thing, but it's time to actually go do a little bit of fishing and some catching. We're going to catch them here? Who knows? It's about where I'm at right now, so hopefully we can show you. I've been wanting to show you guys because I keep getting blown up from all these guys from Omaha in the Midwest that have been out fishing lately. The ice just came off and they're like, what the hell do I throw? And as you've seen, there a lot of times there is no answer. But I got a couple. We got a couple sneaky little methods we're gonna try here, and hopefully make some bite. Hopefully, God, I hope. I just never do worth it. Oh. Oh. I found one. I think I just had a bite too. God, drop the pulse. Drop the pulse. There are bass. God, he didn't even eat it. He was just like on. Popped it out of the grass. Typical lipless crankbait bite. Hey, not a bad one. Pretty one. Not a big one. I'll take it today, man. That's tough fishing on the old six cents thud. Hopefully we can uh, we can catch some more on this guy. Out of babe. Yeah, that's not a bad one. J 
giant. Giant. Beautiful cold water bass. All right, we're putting some together. We got a windblown bank right here. We're in about seven feet of water. Windblown, sun's on it. That's what you always want, first thing, after ice off. Good work. Finally got one to eat it. A little better. No. I'm, I might need to throw a sexy shot on, man. Oh, that's a good one, man. Nice fatty. Yep. Good two pounder. We're getting there. 30 some degree water. Catching them on lipless baits. Yeah, it doesn't say what temperature it is. Oh, uh, yeah, 39. 39 is a magic number. <laughs> magic number for lipless, folks. Dude, we're, we're catching fish. I will take it. Completely changes everything. It's like a Mazingo. Everyone. Oh. Ow. Found a fish. We got a jerkbait fish. All right. Jerk bait. Yeah, he did. He really took that one. Uh, it's the same size as him, but that's okay. All right, just a little guy, but uh, throwing the jerk bait up into this windy corner. Wind blown. 100% seems to be the deal. And that's what I've always found this time of year. Right when that ice comes off, you go throw wherever that wind is blown in. Whew. Let's duplicate it. What is up, MFers? It is time to do a little bit of fishing today. Now it's finally sunny. It's nice outside. It's sunny, the wind's blowing. And, and so I'm out here at this local lake. We got we got a lot of muddy water, shallow riprap and stuff like that. And in the past, I have a pattern that I've absolutely smoked them on. I'm talking like 20 to 25 pound limits every single time on. But if it's not working, we might freaking blank today. The water's still in the upper 30s. It could be really, really tough. But I'm out here in the afternoon. I did a little bit of editing this morning. Uh, let that water warm up a little bit. And hopefully that will lend itself to a couple bites. But as with every day in fishing, we can't have preconceived notions. We can't only have that idea in our head. So I'm gonna bounce around, fish the conditions a little bit, fish some windy stuff where I can find some warmer water. A little bit of early, early pre-spawn fishing today. Let's get after it. Let's go. Okay, MFers, let's get this daggone day started. Woo! Hopefully you can hear anything I'm saying in the wind because it is very, very windy today. But I noticed upon getting here, the water is super, super low. It's still drawn down from the winter and we haven't really had any rain so far yet this year. And that makes a huge difference on a really shallow lake, the shallow fishery like this. There's hardly anywhere on this lake that's deeper than eight or nine feet. So now that it's down three feet, it's really gonna concentrate those fish likely in these steeper areas where there's good cover. So I'm gonna start on this, the steepest riprap bank on the lake right here and kind of see where that gets us. And then we're gonna kind of fish around. Uh, there is a couple deeper holes in the middle and there's some deeper docks and stuff. So those are definitely gonna be areas we're targeting today, starting off with the six cents flat 75. This is gonna be money absolutely love this bait even even the water's hopper 30s like it is today this guy flat out gets a bit in the spring what do we got here we caught a dadgum beer can that's an oldie well i'm throwing that back in the lake it's gonna hang out right here beer can all right, well, the riprap on the first spot didn't work, so time to try the old flipping slash dragging of the deepest docks on the lake. If that doesn't work, we might have to go find some deeper holes, see if we can trap some up or something, but it's been obviously tough so far. We caught a, we caught a beer can, so there's that. And now we're about to make it rain. Yep, well, I guess I'm, uh, I'm matching the hatch pretty well um, with my, my blade bit I just had on. I just came out to this deep hole, and uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of big schools of shad in there, so I figure, why not give it a try? I just caught a shad. My blade bit's exactly the same size, but uh, eh, eh. The hell do we have here? All right, our shad size is improving. We're getting somewhere. Should tie this guy on a damn hook. 
God, there's so much bait in here. There's got to be some bass. It's the only deep spot in the damn lake. And we got Chad. So. All right. Well, see you later, Chad. Chad the Chad. Good God. Are you kidding me? The shad are freaking thick in here. Did I just double? We, I tripled. Triple shad on the old blade bit. I don't think I have ever done that in my fishing career. That is unbelievable. Wow. Like that right there is what's going on. That is, uh, that's ridiculous right there. But that right there below them is what we're excited about. We need to catch one of those. That's a fish. That's a slaunch. That's not a carp. That's not, probably not a cat. I mean, it could be a catfish. Pretend that it's a giant bass. Well, I got sick of catching shad and we got other options in the city here. So I'm getting the hell out of here. Plus this lake seems like super low, not healthy, not doing well. The fish must be super spread out. Could never make a fish go that was around those big balls of shad. But we're not giving up. We got daylight still. Let's go to another lake. Hopefully catch some slunch. Let's go. All right, lake number two. Let's get this show on the road. A lot of boats here. I like it. 65 freaking degrees. I like that too. There we go. Oh man. That is the ultimate flare fish. I just downsized to a quarter ounce lipless crankbait and I snagged, sorry little guy, I snagged this bass in the side. That's what you get for downsizing folks. Giant fish like that one. Flare fish! What the heck? A fish. Oh, it's a giant too. It's a giant. Well, just made a move back to some super shallow water, found some two degree warmer water and caught this little tiny skinny pecker head that didn't even barely want to bite. Tough freaking day. But I'll take it, I'm a lipless. There we go. There we go. Oh, thought he was a big guy in the damn tree. All right, maybe we put some together. I wanted to fish these trees. I was about to get out of here. And then I started noticing that stuff on the graph right there. So I flipped in this tree and I got one to take a chance on me. Let's see if we can repeat the process. Not a big one by any means, but hey, beats the hell out of what we've been catching. Well guys, that is what, two days, 15 hours, 150 gigabytes of memory cards to catch five, six, seven little piddly small early, early pre-spawn fish. Looks like, you know, I would have freaking loved to catch a couple big ones in there and get on a really good pattern. But the fact of the matter is when the water's in upper 30s for the, uh, the first week of the year after ice out, it's a slow, slow grind. But that's what keeps us coming back, right? You know, if it wasn't a challenge and we caught them every single time, it wouldn't be that exciting to us. And so it makes the moments when you catch some absolute slaunches even more special. I'm gonna give it one last crack tomorrow morning before I head down to the Bassmaster Classic in South Carolina, which once again, come see me, Mystery Tackle Box booth 3030. I'll be there Friday, Saturday, uh, kind of sporadically. I'll, I'll post the times down below when I'll be there. but. Thanks for, uh, for bearing through this video with me, guys. I, I would have loved to catch more fish, but we'll, we'll get them next time. I'm not giving up. You know I'm never gonna give up. You know I'm gonna keep grinding for you guys. The great news is, in the time I was in the water today, the water warmed up like three degrees. So in the coming days, it, it, should, it should be improving. But until then, I will catch you guys very, very soon. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine